Do you know what, guys? I think Overwatch can actually be saved. And I'm starting to feel quite happy for the future of this game because of what's happened recently. All right, let's get stuck into this video. So you guys may have seen a lot of coverage from me and loads of other people about this new content creator experimental patch, which is the first patch the game has had for an, like from ages, absolutely ages, where it's made some sort of a change to the game. Like, yeah, we used to get balance changes all the time, um, but they clearly have stopped doing that. And they've just stopped doing anything with Overwatch apart from giving us seasonal events with the odd new skin. Uh, yeah, we like the skins, but it's not really a reason to play the game, is it? Sure, you might play to get some loot boxes and maybe unlock the skins, but that's it. Like, there's no reason to log into Overwatch and play Overwatch. But this experimental card has given us that reason. And this starts making me think, the way this game has been managed over the last couple of years when it comes to just adding content into the game, the fact that they completely ignored it, it's honestly, it has to be one of the worst decisions in the entire game in history. All right, okay, that's probably a bit hyperbolic as a statement, but... You guys know what I'm getting at. You guys are all fans of Overwatch. You know what this is, right? There's just been no content to the game. So the moment we get content, we're like, oh my God, this is great. But what really gets me is how easy it is to do this kind of thing. And then I start thinking, why didn't this happen in the past? Were there not people at Blizzard who could have done this? Were there people trying to do this and they were stopped from doing it? If so, why is that the case? Because what we've got right now is a game which is dead. And I don't care who you are. I don't care if you come at me and you go, what are you talking about, Star? It's not dead, you know? I still play it with my friends. Yeah, I don't mean it like that. I mean dead in terms of, well, it's dead flat. It's stale. There's no new content coming to this game. And we know that as a fact. We know the only thing we're probably going to get is next year, we're going to get to watch Overwatch League on 5v5 because they've actually come out and said that. But beyond that, we have got no idea. I know a lot of people out there, especially some of my friends and especially myself, I was hoping that in November, we get something to do with Overwatch 2 because it's sort of like the traditional BlizzCon sort of period i know blizzcon's not happening but you know normally something would happen but of course blizzard have got all these issues with all of the stuff going on with the harassment case and people leaving the company and it's just a complete mess so you can kind of understand in some ways why you know why things just didn't happen but yeah it looks like we're getting nothing this month what we are getting is this experimental update which is giving us sort of a reason to log into the game and a reason to enjoy the game and that's the big takeaway i'm getting from this that experimental card, yeah, sure, it's broken and there's heroes with crazy abilities. And that was the whole point of it. That's why Blizzard did it. They were like, hey, let's give these content creators a, a chance to just come up with some mad stuff and maybe they'll have fun. And it's kind of worked, right? Because I've, I've been really enjoying this. I just like going and playing experimental, which is not something I really did before. I'll tell you how I used to use experimental before is I'd go in, check out some of the changes, record some content, and that was it. But this one, I'm actually going in there to play it because it feels like a sort of crazy arcade mode that everybody's got access to because it's sort of right there as a play card in the main sort of play thing and i just think it's really cool anyway good stuff blizzard i want to see more of this but this got me thinking you know guys it's so easy isn't it to inject life into this game and why haven't blizzard been doing that even if they were coming up with their own experimental cards i mean remember april falls probably the best experimental card we ever got and in fact we got the diva mech squish from that uh, patch but that was super fun. I don't know why Blizzard haven't been doing that. Now, I know the developers are clearly working on Overwatch 2. But why can't they develop or devote some time to just kind of supporting Overwatch? Because that's the game that we play. Now, it's definitely not. I mean, it's it's, it's categorically 100% not down to the developers in terms of what they get to work on. I'm sure there are developers that do want to work on Overwatch, but can't because they're working on Overwatch 2. And in some ways, okay, that makes sense because Overwatch 2 is the sort of last chance for Overwatch to hit the big time again if you will whereas overwatch is just sitting there languishing in the background just yeah it's it's the game it's overwatch people don't really play it we don't really do too much with it so what's the point of investing in this game i just hope that blizzard over time maybe look at this experimental patch and go you know what maybe we can make changes maybe we can start supporting this game again because we're starting to see renewed vigor from the player base um and, and i just hope that happens i really really do now this is kind of a little bit sort of behind the scenes stuff but Overwatch is finally starting to engage with its content creators in a meaningful way. Now, I've been an Overwatch content creator since the, the closed beta. I've worked with Blizzard on multi... I've been to every major Blizzard event since Overwatch kicked off. I've been all around the world covering Overwatch. I went to Korea, most notably for the D.Va um, shooting star stuff. So I've, I've been everywhere. If, if, if anything, I've been very lucky to have been involved in a lot of stuff that Blizzard have been doing with Overwatch. But it's always been like... How can I say this? It's like marketing stuff, 
right? It's like, okay, we're, we're going to show a new thing off. Let's fly some creators to an event and then they'll enjoy it. And that's great. Not actually working with creators. And it seems like that's starting to change now with this experimental patch. Because it's the first time Blizzard have gone out there and said, hey, content creators, do you want to have an impact on the game? Well, we'll let you do this. Come up with your own patch. Let's see what you can do. Now, the thing is with content creators, they're generally the biggest fans of the game, right? Now, I know that a lot of you guys out there are like incredible fans of Overwatch, but you're also fans of the content creators. But the content creators ultimately get where they are because they're a massive, huge, mega fan of the game that they're playing and they make loads of content on it. And they sort of like, this might sound a little bit sad to say this, but they, they really live it. It becomes their life. So in a way, they become not game developers, but they become sort of like, uh, like, like a, I can't even say a mini game developer, but they become like a, a super fan that's sort of attached to Overwatch, if that makes any sense. Use this resource. And I don't know why Blizzard have taken this long to do it because all the other gaming companies out there, they do this. So I've, I've gone on about Riot um, on this channel. That Riot are not perfect, but Riot are very open in the way things are working with their game. They tell you in advance what's going on. Now, as a content creator, this means that you can sort of plan and make better content because the worst thing is, and this happens with Overwatch quite a lot, when something new comes out in Overwatch, if you guys are subscribed to a couple of other Overwatch channels, I won't name anyone, but you can probably guess who they are. Videos just come out instantly. You will you will have, if you're subscribed to certain channels, literally five of the same video that just comes out dead quick. Now, these videos, all of them are always full of mistakes, even mine included, right? So giving a little bit of heads up before that means the content creators can go, you know what, we can fix some things. The one thing I always remember is in the Sigma video I made, uh, when he hit the PTR. Because remember, this is how they used to do it. They, they told... We, we knew nothing. We didn't know... We didn't even know an update was coming out, right? And then suddenly, bang, Sigma's on the PTR. We're like, oh my God. So we go straight in. We start recording Sigma. And we, I, I made a mistake with his... Uh, I think I made a mistake with his barrier, if I remember rightly. I didn't properly explain explain the hero. And then you look at a video and it gets a bunch of views. And you're putting the wrong information out. And now surely, that would annoy the people that have made the game. Because they'd be like hang on, this video is getting loads of views, but this is not correct. So the way around that is you engage with the content creators and you go, hey guys, have a look at this maybe a day before or the day before we send you, I don't know, a, a sheet of information that breaks down the, the way the hero works or just something like that. And then you can make better content. Now, I was lucky enough to get to do this with Echo and I've gone on about this all the time because it's the last time I really did anything with Overwatch. I went, if you don't include being on the Overwatch 2 streams this year, but I went over to Irvine and I played Echo a good week before, well, no, it was a good two weeks before Echo even came out. And I was able to talk to the developers, ask them about Echo. They tell me why they've, you know, made certain decisions. I got to record and capture a load of content. And it meant that when I made the video on Echo, it's a really good video. It's concise, it, which is a, uh, you know, that's a good thing for me if it's concise. But it hits all the points, right? And it's a great video. And that's what working with content creators does. And then that means everyone else gets hyped because they see good videos. Blizzard are starting to realize this, I hope with the start of this content creator experimental card. Now, don't get me wrong here, guys. I'm not like trying to make out like content creators are amazing and we should be given preferential treatment because we shouldn't. All I'm saying is when you just get a little bit of a heads up when things are coming out, it helps a lot with content planning and actually making videos on the game. And also it gets you like, you know, involved in the game as well. But there's been another issue, hasn't there, with Overwatch, especially this year, and it's lack of communication. Now, they might talk to us about Overwatch 2 when, well, they did it twice this year um, they also gave us did we get two developer updates from the new game director by the way we haven't really heard anything from the new game director which again is mind-boggling it comes back to this whole idea of no communication or a lack of communication in fact the only comms we've been getting recently has been from the new community manager andy b now you may have seen this guy on the forums he's the only one that really posts on the forums N none of the development team talk about anything on the forums it's just him replying to stuff maybe answering questions um we did a or they did a q a with the uh, competitive Overwatch subreddit, which gave us some more bits of, you know, behind the scenes information on Overwatch 2, things like the Doomfist tank rework uh, was touched on and stuff like that. That's cool to see. But again, that comes down to having communication. So when you go dark, we don't know what you're doing. So why the hell should we play your game? And why the hell should we make content on your game? It's a very sort of like, it's a it's a black and white way of looking at it because a lot of people out there will go, well, Stein, you don't have to talk like that because if you love the game, you just make videos on the game. You're sure, yeah, I play Overwatch and I make videos on Overwatch. I've made probably more videos than anyone on this game. But in fact, I probably, you know what, I probably have. I'll be very surprised if anybody has uploaded more Overwatch videos than me. <laughs> There's definitely people that have uploaded better Overwatch videos than me. Don't get, don't get me wrong there. But yeah, like, it's just, you need a game to be updated. And listen, 
I'm in danger of going into a massive rant here. But the fact is, Blizzard, you've got to put content into Overwatch 1. And this has been something we've asked for for a long time. We don't know when Overwatch 2 is coming out, but you can save this game. And you've actually just shown us that you can do this with this experimental creator card, which I cannot believe has taken that much effort to implement. They literally reached out to three content creators who specialize in each role, DPS, tank and support, and said, hey, buff the heroes however you like. Make it crazy. We'll tell you if it can work or if it doesn't work, because maybe there's things that they just literally can't do. You know, if you wanted to give, I don't know, Reinhardt dual... Uh, this is what I would do. I'll give him dual uh, hammers because that would be ridiculously fun. But they probably just can't do that. It's physically impossible. We can't do it. Okay, I get that. But like the effort involved is so little, really. Sure, they're going to need to get a couple of developers to implement the changes into the game, make sure that it works, which it kind of didn't to begin with, if you guys remember when this experimental went live. But what I'm saying is it's minimal effort, isn't it? And it shows the community that you still care about the game. And that's what we really need right now. We need... Well, we basically need Aaron Keller, the game director, to come out and say, guys, this is what's going on with the game, just to reassure people. We need to see updates hitting Overwatch beyond just the seasonal events because the seasonal events are fine, but we know what they are and they don't really get us hyped. And all we want to do is check out the skins. And if I'm frightfully honest, people will do that watching YouTube videos and they'll do it looking on social media. They don't really need to log into the game to find that out. I'm sure people do. But when you log in and realize it's just the same event, nothing really changed. It's May's Snowball Offensive for the 50th year in a row. You don't care. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, that's been my reaction to what's gone on here with the experimental card. And this is why I am kind of optimistic that Overwatch can be saved. But it does very clearly look like everybody's working on Overwatch 2 when they do work. Because obviously all of the other stuff going on with the harassment stuff behind the scenes is going to be crushing on morale. It's going to be tiring to deal with. I mean, can you imagine the weight of that on people's shoulders? Imagine going to... I mean, I know they don't technically go into Irvine, go to work, but, you know, they're working remotely. Being connected and being in that environment, it's going to feel, you know, not great at times. You maybe want to just get away and carry on with your work, but you've got all these other pressures and stuff. So it's not great. It's a difficult way to develop the game. But I'm just hoping that this is a turning point where we are seeing some sort of resources allocated to Overwatch to keep the game fun now before i do end this video i do kind of want to just touch on the whole sort of there's a bit of negative sentiment i've seen around on social media about this patch people going oh it's been like four months since we've had any update any balance update and the first thing we get is a stupid meme patch like what the hell is this it's so stupid who cares about this my counter to that would be well it's fun it really is fun it's not a legitimate balance change and i would also say if you're playing overwatch right now competitively and you're grinding away to get your rank higher it's probably not a good use of your time because we know the game is fundamentally changing we know it's going to 5v5 why waste your time doing that instead play overwatch in the fun game modes go and play quick play go and play arcade or check out this experimental card i know that honestly i'm looking forward to whatever the next one turns out to be it's probably going to be a while until we get that because we've got the the whole sort of experimental card uh, tournament is happening on the patch uh, which you can win up to $10,000 if you're in the NA region. The other regions have got different prize pools. I think the EU has got like $7,000 for the winner. Um, so there's money to be made there that you can actually, well, win by playing the experimental card, which is going to be a first for that. So it's cool to see that starting to happen. And it's really cool to see that finally somebody at Blizzard has decided, let's try and engage with this community we've got with our game instead of just throwing them all under the buzz, not doing anything with them and then just expecting them to sort of appear when Overwatch 2 comes out. Because you know what, guys? That's the reason why we've got a lot of, again, going back to this idea of negative sentiment about Overwatch 2. They just don't talk about anything, and then people are just like, well, we're just playing the same old game, Overwatch. Overwatch 2 looks like Overwatch, so what the hell? We don't care. What's this? Goodbye. It's a difficult situation to be in, so I really hope Blizzard are starting to, well, change the way they operate with this game because it can be saved and we all love this game we know this game is a phenomenally brilliant game when you really distill it down to what it is it's just stale make changes blizzard make it more exciting I, they can do it i know they can do it all right guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below i just wanted to get this out there because i i just think you know oh i just think there's something here i think they've got something here and i think overwhelmingly people are going to be positive about what's happened and if we can get more of this kind of stuff maybe we can keep going until overwatch 2 comes out <laughs> certainly better than nothing right all right guys thank you for watching the video remember you can follow me on everything which is at stylosa if you would like one of these awesome value hoodies they're still available there's a link in the video description below in fact i think these have actually been restocked now so we've got 
quite a good number of these ready to go if you guys want to pick them up. The champion hoodie is uh, almost gone, I think. I think there's some small and maybe double XL left. Maybe. I think XL and large and medium might be out of stock, although there may be some medium coming back. So just go and check the website and you'll be able to see it unitloss.com forward slash store or there is a link in the video description below but yeah i'm gonna leave it at that guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you lovely lot on the next video toodaloo